Today I'm going to program a memory channel in this Yezu FT2900 2 meter ham radio transceiver. So the first thing that I'm going to do is get the radio into VFO mode. Right now it's in memory mode and I can see that by the MR indicator here in the upper right corner. So in order to get it into VFO mode I'm going to push this button here, the MWD slash MR button. The first time I press it, it puts the radio into home channel mode which is not what we want. The second press will bring it into VFO mode as indicated by the VFO icon down here in the lower right corner. So the next thing that I will do is tune to the frequency that I want to program in, the receive frequency of the repeater that I'm trying to program in. Um, and that can be done by two different ways. You can tune the radio using the tuning knob here or the frequency can be punched in directly with the keypad on this microphone. And you can see as I punch the numbers they show up in the display there. So once I get the correct frequency programmed in I can see that the repeater offset is automatically set for me. If I needed to program in a non-standard offset then that's a different operation and I'll show that in another video. But for right now I'm just going to use the standard repeater offset which for this frequency is minus 600 kilohertz. The next thing that I'm going to do is program the appropriate power level for this particular repeater. And that's achieved by pressing this button, the A slash N low button, and releasing it. So the first time I press and release it, you can see there the indicator displays low 2. That means that it previously was on the lowest power setting, which is low 1, and is now set to low 2. And I want to bring this up one more level to low 3. And that should be sufficient for this particular repeater. The next thing that I will do is program in the appropriate uh, CTCSS or otherwise known as PL tone for this particular repeater. And that's achieved by going into the settings menu. And to get into the settings menu, I'm just going to press and hold this button, the set slash megahertz button. So that brings me into the menu setup. And you can see here that there are, this is in the automatic power off menu option right now. Uh, option number one is indicated by this number over here. Now to scroll through the menu items, just tune the tuning knob until I get to the appropriate uh, menu item for the CTCSS tone, which I believe is item number 49. And what this menu option will do, this will turn on or off the transmit and or receive tone. So in order to change it, once I get to the menu item, I'm going to press the set button again and now I can scroll through the particular options for this menu item. So the default mode is off, so there's no tone transmitted or no squelch tone received. And I'm going to just scroll this up one notch to tone, and that will set the transmit tone. Uh, I could do tone squelch, which will transmit the tone and will also mute the radio receiver Unless, the unless that transmit tone is present on the uh, signal it's receiving. The next item is the uh, digital coded squelch, which I'm not going to use. And then there's the reverse tone, which I'm also not going to use. And then that scrolls back to the beginning, which is off. So again, I'm going to leave it on this one to just transmit the tone. I don't need to set the receive tone on this particular repeater. Now, to enter that in, I'm just going to press and hold the button and that will enter the the mode in and then you can see that there's now a T present up here in the display and that indicates the tone the transmit tone squelch is turned on so now I need to set the actual tone frequency and to do that I'm going to go back into the menu by pressing and holding this button again and then I will scroll up to the appropriate setting for the tone frequency which is item number 52 and then once again to change the tone frequency I'm going to push the button again and then scroll through the appropriate list of tones until I get to the one that I need for that particular repeater which in this case is 82.5 Hertz once I've got that set where I want then I will press and hold the button to 
enter that into the VFO. Now you can see I should be able to key up the repeater and hear the repeater's courtesy tone, which means that I'm able to activate and talk on this particular repeater. So now that I've got this repeater programmed into the VFO mode and verified that I'm able to work the repeater, I'm going to write this into a memory channel. So now in order to do that, I'm going to press and hold this, this button here, the MWD slash MR button. And what will happen once I press and hold this um, for a second or so, a number will appear up here in the display. And that number will be flashing. What the radio tries to do is it tries to um, make available the first empty memory channel or memory channel that has no information programmed in it. And if that is the desired frequency or desired memory channel that um, the VFO information needs to be written into, then you can just press and hold or press this button one more time to write it into memory. If you want to change the memory channel, then you tune the knob to the appropriate channel that you want to program into and then press and hold this. Um, and again, while the numbers are blinking, any of the numbers that are blinking rather, are empty memory channels and anything that's solid is a channel that already has something programmed into it. And you have to act fast because you only get a few seconds to uh, write something into the memory channel before it re reverts back to VFO mode. So I'm going to do that now. Now you can see 6 is blinking because that is the first empty memory channel, but I actually want to write this into memory channel 1. So there, you can see that should have written it into memory channel 1. Now to verify, I should be able to just push this button to go back into memory mode. And you can see I'm in memory mode, channel number 1, and there's my uh, repeater information. If I tune the memory channels, you can see there's 0, and there's 2, memory channel 2, and each one of those has something different in it. Those were the basic steps that are needed to program in a standard repeater frequency into memory on this FT2900. Hopefully this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.